Hey, Sam, I know that we haven't been able to spend time together, but it's nice being able to talk to you. Uh, thanks for joining us on Long Story Short, and hey, thanks for being an absolute superstar on the screen. Thank you, Shane, and this is the best way I like to talk to you. I don't know where you are. Let's hopefully you're in another suburb. <laughs> I'm in another country. Yeah, good. <laughs> Seriously? They are aphrodisiacs. Really? <laughs> They're working, it. They're working. Is that uh, Eminem or S and M? <laughs> Glenn, who's going to win? The Maggies or the Swans? Oh, from where I am, it looks like the yellow M&M's win. <laughs> oh, just keep you up, up to date. Looks like the Lions got an end in there and Sam's got a hand. In. It's nasty. Haven't seen that since the little... Can you talk about the Eminem? Can you tell us what happened there? Yeah. It's one of the all-time great moments. Yeah, I think Eminem were. Uh, I, I, I might have this wrong. I'm not sure, but um, I was never good on detail, Shane. I think Eminem was sponsoring <laughs> Carlton, were they? Or I'm not sure yep. about that. Uh, yep. And and the directive from America came. They had a big, uh, big uh, <laughs> balloon man that came out in the doll, the Eminem doll. <laughs> And the strict instructions to Eddie, which I didn't know, he said, they said, for God's sake, he said, don't malign our mascot. He said, don't take the piss out of it. He said, it's, it's our universal symbol. So the M&M came out of the show and uh, they had some green ones and someone had told me, I don't know, fed it. I said, I said, the green ones are meant to be aphrodisiacs. And I said, are they? So I thought, oh, well, I'll go with this. So I got a gob full of uh, green uh, M&Ms and I put them in my mouth and I gave it about 20 seconds. And then I pretended I was getting a bit frisky and started to get a bit firm. And uh, the, suddenly the M&M doll looked very, very attractive. And I grabbed it and it started to deflate. Uh, and it had big plastic eyes welded onto its front of its head. And Ed's looking at it thinking, don't touch the M&M, Sam. And I said, all right, Ed. I said, it looks pretty... Sh I'll tell you what, I'm going to give it a sing to, Ed. And he said, don't touch it. And, and as I touched it, the, the whole of the air came out. And in the end, it was just like a limp, spent balloon. It looked like a condom lying on the ground with its big eyes. And Ed was standing on its eyes. And, he's, and, and he thought, Jesus. He said, uh, so we finished the show. And he said, oh, he said, they said, the one thing I was told, he said, by the people in America, don't touch the M&M uh, logo uh, doll. So uh, the phone call eventually came because they'd been watching it at, I don't know what time it was in America, it was probably three in the morning or one in the afternoon, and Ed, Ed took the call and he said, uh, the bloke said, well, he said, I see you've uh, taken notice of my instructions not to touch the M&M doll, and Ed said, yeah, look, I'm sorry, he said, fantastic, he said, it's the best thing we've ever seen. <laughs> He said they couldn't get enough of it. He said, we're so happy. And I, they said, so just uh, out of a wreck, out of disaster, something good comes. Uh, not planned, but uh, so uh, that was the end of the M&M doll. No, it was absolutely priceless. Oh, I've got tears running down my face.